Hey everybody, Real with West coming at you day three, talking about a place, um, in a place to hear. And really ultimately we're talking about hearing the voice of God. Now before I get into anything, got some exciting news here. Um, we got our next in-person service. It's going to be, uh, excuse me, let me adjust my seat here. That's going to be next Sunday. Not this coming Sunday, the following Sunday, which, which is December the 19th. I'll announce and the next thing, we'll post some things on our social media page about the location, the exact address. Um, we're doing something a little different. Uh, we found a venue that is very central to everybody. So we were really mindful of that. We heard a lot of people give us feedback in point about trying to find that, find a good size and, and just everything that kind of fits us. We felt this was going to be a lot better. Uh, it's over definitely in the middle of New York City. Uh, technically, it's in Harlem area. Uh, so we're going to go somewhere a little different. Uh, it's going to be easy access with train. It's going to be on Sunday, which means parking is real easy over there. Parking is free, actually, but there is a parking garage around the corner in case you can't find street parking. So we, we looked at all those different aspects. Um, it's kind of a nice, happy medium size, you know, so you got room to move around for social distancing, but uh, the place doesn't feel like you're going to swallow you. So it's going to be really cool to come together as a community and have a great time. Now, the timing is going to be a little different. You know, with New York City, when the pandemic hit, all the venues changed. There's a lot of time differences, things like that. So we're actually going to do kind of a Sunday evening service. So the doors are going to open at four o'clock is what they're going to do. This is going to be in-person service. We're still going to have our stream on Saturday night, but it's going to be in-person on Sunday. We won't be streaming out. We want everybody to come together, have a community connect. We hope to see you there. The other thing we're also doing, it's like, man, what else are you going to do? We're also doing our toy giveaway that day, uh, right before service is what we're going to do. We're going to start that at 2.30. Um, you do, we encourage you to stay for service. You're not required to. We'll still give you toys. We're not going to be like, Ew, you got to stay or you won't get a toy. Nothing like that. But if you know someone or you have someone who is in need, uh, need some, need some just to make ends meet with the kids, man, you're trying to make things in and have something under the tree, man, we want to take that opportunity to be able to bless you with something and give you that. So we got all those things going on. Um, I know it's a lot, 2.30 toy giveaway, uh, 4 o'clock doors open for a service, in-person service in Harlem. Like I said, I'll put in the, we'll post some things tomorrow, the exact address where that's at, but it is in Harlem, real easy access. So uh, we're excited, mark your calendars, December the 19th. I know it's right around the corner, but this was the one we could get in right before the holidays here to get to connect for the years out. And then we're just going to keep doing it. Um, if all goes well, we're just right about every other week, we're going to, come together and uh, do in-person service. So we're excited about that. Now getting into today, what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, everything uh, talking about a place to hear, what is our ultimate thing? We wanna hear the voice of God. So one thing you have to remember is to guard your heart. I talk about this quite often, but it's so important to stay in a place of hearing, to guard your heart. And guarding your heart means the first, a lot of times, many times, is actually being honest with yourself because things will get in your heart. You'll have foolishness in your heart. You'll have uh, self-centered motives in your heart. You'll have your will or outside influences in your heart that get sewn into you. And that's important to recognize uh, when those things, because they start uh, filtering how you hear the voice of God and how you see everything in life. There can be outside influences that you have to watch. And what are those outside influences? Everybody can be so anti-outside influence, what doesn't look like, um, what doesn't fit their box sometimes. And it's not that. It's sometimes, it's just learning to recognize what negative outside influences are coming in. Uh, typically when there's biases, when there's prejudice, when there's uh, exclusiveness, when there's uh, something that violates humanity is what it does. Those outer influences can become very problematic in how you hear the voice of God. And so it's, it's, it can be fearful outer influences coming in, hateful out, outer influences coming in. It needs to line up with the voice of God is what it does. So my simple thing is to you today, guard your heart, examine it, allow God to examine it so you can stay in that place of hearing God for direction, for how to navigate situations, how to navigate life, uh, how to not have something skew your view of life is what it is. So when we're talking about a place of hearing, it's taking a step back and being realized, maybe I got filters, maybe I got self-centeredness uh, filtering how I'm hearing God, maybe I got... Uh, unforgiveness filtering how I'm hearing from God. Maybe I got fear how I'm filtering and hearing from God and learning to recognize those things and then learning to start feeding through, okay, am I letting something uh, influence me that's that's putting up, in, in stealing one of these filters or reinforcing one of these filters 
uh, that it is that is actually contradicting to the word of God. And that can be our traditions, that can be our religion, that can be all these isms that come out of that, that can be narrow-minded thinking, fear, all those different things. So start filtering through. Well, how do I filter through us? Sometimes you got to sit before God and allow God to point out. And that's why I talked about the honesty. Being honest and saying, God, I'm willing to allow you to examine my heart and point out the things that are flawed that you have that go against you. Not Maybe I didn't realize it. Maybe my blind spots are there. Maybe my biases are there. Maybe my immaturity is there. But ultimately allowing the Spirit of God to challenge you and cause you to grow. And he'll put certain people in your life also to filter through and challenge you. So why you can come out of those things. But all that leads to this beautiful place of, I'm hearing from God. And I'm not hearing halfway from God. I'm hearing God. Uh, it's, it's expanding my ability to hear from God with more clarity and more accuracy. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Hope you guys mark calendar for December the 19th. Guard your heart. Get before God. Get honest. Allow him to filter through things and just change your belief system. Change your way of thinking. Why? So you can always be in a place to hear his voice accurately. All right, I'll catch you tomorrow.